Hi, this is Kasia Zmokwa from Digital Art Classes and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of color cast from your images. So in this case I have this image open in Lightroom and we can see that there is this very strong blue tint over the whole image. Typically we take care of adjusting the white balance at the very beginning of our photo editing workflow and ideally if we have a RAW file. So if we have a RAW file available, we can check the white balance settings in any RAW file editor. It can be either Adobe Camera Raw, Lightroom or Capture One, whatever you are familiar with. So really the fastest and the easiest way is to, while still being in library mode in Lightroom, just go here to the quick develop tab and check in white balance. As we can see here, I had the white balance in my camera set as shot. It means that I didn't have time, I didn't check the white balance and that way I have created series of images with this blue cast. So now we can just open this drop down menu and select auto. If this doesn't work, we can select daylight or any other light conditions that we were shooting in. And in case of this image, it really helps. I got rid of the blue cast. It's not that easy. Sometimes it doesn't work. So the other thing we can do, let's just get back to S shot. Next thing we can do, if the white balance adjustment in the library module doesn't work, we can jump into develop module and here we can set a gray point. So let's just pick this eyedropper tool and now the task is to select the area in the image that should be neutral gray. Notice that when I hover over the photo, you have these three values underneath the histogram R, G and B. And the neutral gray should have all the three values equal. So now when I'm hovering above the C, obviously we have the highest value for the blue. The blue is 56 and red and green are pretty equal 25 and 29. So keep your eye on the three values and let's maybe try here. So here I have 26 for the red, 28 for the green and 32 for the blue. I don't think I will find something more neutral in this image. Okay, so let's sample here. So that way, very quickly with the eyedropper tool, I have set a new gray point for this image and I have neutralized the image. I got rid of the blue cast. So this is the version of the photo before and that's after using the gray point. The third method that you can use when you are working with a RAW file, when you are in Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw or Capture One, is to manually adjust the temperature. I would prefer to use the eyedropper tool because it's much more precise tool. However, if you have in mind any specific look that you would like to have for your image, you can try to adjust the temperature manually. So when you are in develop module, just go down to the basic development panel and try to drag this first slider temperature. If you will be pulling the slider towards the right hand side, you will be adding yellow to the image. If you will be pulling the slider in opposite direction, you will be adding blue. Obviously the image was already too blue at the very beginning. We had the very strong blue cast. So let's just pull the slider slightly towards the right hand side and we are neutralizing the grays in the image. We are adding yellow. I wouldn't go too far with these adjustments in Lightroom. The whole idea of adjusting, of correcting the white balance is to get pretty neutral colors to neutralize any issues with color cast. So the further post-processing, the further edit you should make either in Photoshop or in Lightroom, but the initial image should be pretty neutral. So that's the first scenario when we have available raw file. Let's now jump into Photoshop and I will show you how you can get rid of color cast if you don't have a raw file and if you are working either with TIFF or a JPEG. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you in Photoshop how to get rid of the color cast. This is the scenario B when we don't have a raw file available and if you are working either with a JPEG or with TIFF. So once we have the image opened, let's move over in the Layers tab towards the icon in the middle and we are going to add a new adjustment layer, Curves. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the color cast with the curves adjustment layer. So here, once we have the adjustment layer added at the very top of our layer stack, actually at the top of the, the only one layer that we had, let's click on this first icon and that way I have the properties window available for my adjustment layer. And now I'm going to set a new black point, new white point and a new gray point for this image. It's pretty straightforward, so just follow me along. In order to set a new black point, select the first eyedropper and once we have the eyedropper selected, click on the darkest area in the image. It can be either here in the hair area or over there. So I'm going to click just here in the hair area and that way I have set a new black point. Next, I'm going to set a new white point. So I'm selecting the very bottom eyedropper. And with this eyedropper selected, I'm going to click on the highlight area in the image. So in this case, it will be somewhere here in the shirt. So I'm going to click here and the very last new point that I'm going to set is the gray point and I'm going to do this with the middle eyedropper. So let's select the eyedropper and now again we are going to observe the info palette and check these three values R, G and B and ideally if we have these three values equal. So the same as we were doing in Lightroom, let's hover over the image and let's search for a place when we would have these three values pretty close to each other. So I guess I'm going to click somewhere here around this place. So that way by using the curves adjustment layer, I have got rid of this blue cast from the image. That's our photo after the adjustment, after correcting the white balance and that's the original version. Now after removing the blue color cast, the image got a bit contrasty. So now at this point, if we would like to make the blacks in this image a little bit brighter, we can take care of this by pulling this black point slightly upwards. I wouldn't go too crazy because we will obviously damage the image. Okay, so that was the method of correcting the white balance with the curves adjustment layer. And obviously, if you would like to fine tune colors, you can do this further. You can develop your image further, either with the curves adjustment layer, just working with particular channels or with other tools. So that's it for the video. I have shown you how to get rid of the blue cast from the photo, either with a raw file in Lightroom or in Photoshop working with TIFFs or JPEGs. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.